Okay, so in this video I want to talk about function declarations. So in program 6 we wrote three different functions in addition to the main function. And whenever we wrote these functions, we actually placed them up above the main function. And if we would have uh, placed these functions below the main function, you'll see something interesting that occurs. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these function definitions from their current location and, and paste them below uh, the main function and save this particular program and then build it. And this time when I try to build uh, this program we'll see that we get uh, three different errors here. It says get posint area of circle and vol of sphere was not declared in this scope. So we're running into an issue in which we haven't declared these particular functions here before we tried to use them because they're appearing below the main function. So anytime we make use of a variable, make use of a function, whatever it is, that thing has to be declared before we use it. So as part of a function definition, we're getting a declaration. So anytime you have a function definition, you also have a declaration. Now we could keep these particular function definitions here where they are, down below the main function, uh, and actually provide function declarations up above that. So the function declaration is going to look very much like what we have here in the function header. So I'm going to just simply copy the function header there for get posint and put it up here above main. Now the interesting thing about the, the function declaration is that it needs to end with a semicolon. So basically it's the function header and then semicolon. Also you don't have to have a formal parameter name. You just simply need to specify the type. So we could just say string without having a specific name here. And all this is doing is saying that for this particular function, it's going to return an int, its name is get posint, and it expects to have a string value. We have to declare that information so the compiler knows what this function actually looks like. So if we were to save this particular program and then build it again, so we're compiling and linking, you can see that we now don't have that error for uh, get posint not being declared. And we could do the same thing for these other functions as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, copy and uh, paste. Let's see. Again, don't forget the semicolons. Uh, it doesn't matter if the um, formal parameter name is there or not. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and build it again. Okay, so we don't have any compile time errors now that we have these function declarations. And typically you will have uh, function declarations actually in a, a separate file, so they um, often will not even appear in the same file as a source file. And we're going to talk about this concept of header files in an upcoming video. But I did want to talk about function declarations and the fact that we actually have to declare anything before we use it, be it a variable or a function. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.